Hello, I'm documenting my uh, low cost um, battery monitoring circuit that I just built. And uh, here it is. This circuit uh, can monitor up to 24 different cells. Cells are about 3.3 uh, volts each. Um, each little circuit, there's um, eight of them on this board, does uh, four cells. And the idea will be that these uh, little individual circuits will be mounted to the group of three cells and then daisy chained together with a two wire bus. So I have, uh, I have it cabled up this way now. These four wires um, go to the first three cells and then so on and so on. So these 12 cells here are being monitored in this uh, prototype experiment. And it communicates on a two-wire bus over to my Arduino uh, processor board, which is uh, polling each of the cells uh, once per second right now. And then I have, I'm using the uh, Arduino Mega ADK board, uh, which communicates to uh, an Android tablet on USB. I've had a lot of problems with the USB, but uh, right now I'm using what's called microbridge which is sort of a uh, workaround using the uh, Android debug bridge as opposed to the USB accessory package that's supposed to be supported but it's not so now my application that I wrote I hacked up uh, another person's joystick uh, application off the internet because uh, I'm pretty green I'm a novice to this kind of programming, but it is working. Um, you can see the different um, batteries. There's actually 16 different voltages being reported here. Uh, the reason there's 16 is because, like I said, this, this group of three cells, um, I also have a bar that represents the average of the three cells. So. I'm only doing uh, 12 cells, but I'm, I'm showing 16 different bars because one bar is for the average of the three, so that creates uh, 16 different bars. But I'm getting good repeatability. Um, I'm getting uh, a little bit of jagged inaccuracies happening here that I'm going to try to fix in the circuit. But one of the cells is uh, showing lower than the rest, and that does uh, is reflected on the cells uh, using the, my handheld voltmeter. So that's pretty cool. And if I touch the circuit in certain areas, um, it is sensitive uh, to the capacitance or the resistance of, of my body when I'm touching parts of the circuit. So I'm going to try to figure out uh, where those sensitivities are. I've uh, used a heat gun and, and the uh, voltage measurements are stable even if my, my circuit changes temperature. It uses a unique method of um, the charge, charging a capacitor, and the time it takes to charge that capacitor represents the, the cell voltage. And uh, so I am making progress with my Android interface. I got the Arduino measuring the time intervals and communicating, and my prototype circuit. So the next step will be to get 24 cells and then 48 and up to 96 cells is what I'm going to use to control my uh, Prius transaxle for my electric vehicle and I plan on also using the inverter as part of my battery charging uh, using it as a boost uh, a boost converter to take the uh, the uh, line voltage and uh, boost it up to my pack voltage. So it's quite a mess right now, but this was a big thing for me to get the uh, Android application sort of working. It does need work, but uh, I'm happy. I think it's gonna it's gonna pan out. So that's all I got.